Good evening, everyone. It's a, a blessing and a pleasure to be invited to be a member of the DLC Club and to talk before you all. Um, I'm an activist, I'm an artist. Uh, I've published two books, one in English and one in Tamil. And I've also acted in films and I've spoken at, at Harvard University. In 2014, I was chosen as one of the 10 persons, 10 women who were um, doing best work through of community development through Facebook. So lots of things that were unspoken, I'm, I have to tell you. <clears throat> but um, I should tell you that um, not every day a transgender person gets this opportunity to speak in front of a forum of powerful people, of leaders. And I'm a leader from the transgender community in our country. And you all know how transgender people live in our country. Most of them are into begging and sex work and it is not because they prefer to do it. It's because our community has been pushed. In our country, being a patriotic nation, we are so inclined to see people in a binary gender, either male or female. The transition from male to a female or a female to male is considered to be very inferior and we are so cluster-minded, very narrow. So we need to be broad about gender. On the one side, we celebrate uh, Mahabharata and Ramayana and the beautiful stories of uh, gender swapping and gender and sexuality. And of course, we all have read Devdath Patnaik's different books. And we celebrate Ardhanarishwara and all that. On the other side, when it comes to people from the transgender community, we don't even take a step to understand them. And as a representative from the transgender community who has worked uh, so much for our community's empowerment, uh, and particularly the Supreme Court of India in 2014, recognized legally the rights of the transgender community and that is that was the day um, it was actually yesterday april 15 and that is the day we truly got, got freedom so it's a long long battle and there is so much to do i'd like to quote one quote from my i'll write to read one quote from my book we are not the others there's a lot of it's a collection of my poems and uh, a lot of things um, lots of transgender people in our country have died, committed suicide because of rejection by, the, uh, by our families. So if a child is different, it doesn't mean the child is abnormal. It's just that different. Each of us is unique, each of us is different. And we all need to acknowledge that everybody deserves a place in our society. Everybody is unique. Uh, in spite of our gender, in spite of our sexuality, sexual preferences, race, color, caste, religion, and all that. So I speak because we need to speak. I speak because we need to be heard. I write because we need to be understood. I dare because we need to survive. So in uh, 2019, I did a series of artworks on Shri Devi. I'm a big, a big fan of Shri Devi. Being a trans woman right from my childhood, I've been very inspired by Shri Devi and um, I did a series of paintings on Shri Devi. And it was, uh, pub it was exhibited in Pondicherry. And two of my artworks were collected by Boni Kapoor himself. <laughs> and um, I've also exhibited um, not only my artwork, but also uh, my fellow transgender women and men's artworks in New York while they were begging and doing sex work here their artwork was exhibited in New York and uh, you know Washington DC and right now the University of South Florida selected six of uh, my students the transgender artists including my artwork and it was exhibited from last November to April uh, this year so that is the way art has transformed and is transforming our lives. So when the doors are open, uh, not only can I come inside this, a place like this, it's the entire community which deserves opportunities, which deserves chances, which deserves a life of equality, 
a life of gender justice which will come and be seated here. Probably I'm the only transgender person talking in front of you, but I wish people like me, whatever gender they identify, they should be able to come. Instead of begging, they should be business people, they should be businessmen and women. Instead of sex workers, they should be social entrepreneurs. And I think that is where you, I consider all of you as allies. We could make a huge difference in all our lives, all transgender people's lives. So it's time for us to be much more open, much more inclusive and understand that diversity and inclusion is a part of our human values and especially our country. Our country's, our country's core strength is its diversity and its unity in diversity. So I'm very happy to be invited and thanks to Jimmy and thanks to uh, Della Leaders Club. I'm very happy and proud to be a leader here and a leader from the transgender community. Thank you. Thank you.